Welcome to this QuickBooks 2019 tutorial for beginners on how to create an invoice from an estimate. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University and I want to jump right into this. Okay. Now, the first thing you, that you want to do in QuickBooks is we want to go to our preferences just to make sure we have everything turned on right. All right. So if we go up to the edit drop down menu and go to preferences, if you go to jobs and estimates and go to the company preferences tab, now, if you already have estimates, obviously this is going to be turned on. And if you do progress invoicing, you want to make sure you turn this on as well. Okay. Now, if you don't do progress invoicing, you don't have to turn this on. And, uh, but if you do, you can turn it on. Okay. So you just want to make sure your preferences are, are set up. Uh, okay. And we're going to click okay here. Okay, now the next thing that you want to do is you want to pull up the estimate that you have already created in QuickBooks. All right, one of the easiest ways to find those estimates is if you go to your chart of accounts, scroll all the way to the bottom, you're going to see a what's called a non posting account called estimates. All right, obviously, this is a listing of your estimates that you have already created. Non posting just means that this is not uh, a transaction that has happened. And so it does not post into your accounting records into QuickBooks. All right. So go ahead and double click this and you'll see it brings up a listing uh, for the date range that, that you have selected. And uh, this will be all your estimates here. Okay. So let's go ahead and click Christy Abercrombie, this last one here for $6,000. If you double click this on that magnifying glass, it's going to bring up the estimate. All right, this one for install drywall for $2,500. There's a markup, okay? And so you'll see here we have this estimate and now we want to create an invoice from this estimate. Okay, so QuickBooks makes it really simple. There's a create invoice button right here. You can create the invoice and it gives you these options. Okay, this is because we have progress invoicing turned on. So we can create an invoice for the entire estimate create it for a percentage of the entire estimate or create an invoice for selected items. Okay. So since it's one item, we're not going to do uh, selected items. If we want to do hundred percent, literally we click okay and it'll do an invoice for hundred percent. But let's say that you're just doing partial. Okay. Percent of estimate. Let's say that it's 25%. Click okay. Okay. So now it brings up an invoice and it'll, you know, it says quantity 25 or 860, but it's doing it for 25%. If you remember the estimate was $6,000. So 25% of that is $1,500. Now, what I highly recommend is that you put in the description, um, <clears throat> invoice for 25% of estimate number, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Uh, and then this way the customer knows that, uh, that's what it was for. Okay, so if we hit, uh, let's just say we hit save and close. Okay, now let's say you go back to this. Okay, let's go back to this estimate and we want to go ahead and create an invoice again. And let's say, let's see now it says create an invoice for the remaining amounts of the estimate, create an invoice for a percentage or selected items. So let's say we want to do for the rest of it. So the job is done and it's going to show $4,500. Okay. Now I always tell people you want to probably put a note on here that says, you know, 25% paid, uh, et cetera. But, um, <clears throat> this is a quick and easy way to do an invoice for the rest of the estimate. Okay. So that's pretty straightforward within QuickBooks. All right. You're simply just going to, uh, click the create invoice from an estimate. And, uh, then you can choose if you want to do a percentage or if you want to do the full amount, uh, but it's pretty straightforward. If you have any questions, any comments, please leave them below. Uh, also join me at the QuickBooks University. Uh, see what it's like to learn everything you need to know about QuickBooks Desktop or QuickBooks Online and have your questions answered as well. The website over there is qbuniversity.org.